uh, along those lines, Goat, you guys are set up to face uh, kind of a lottery pick in Lodolo. What, what has he done so well during his time? Guy, he, he's been really tough against us. Um, tough angle, good fastball, good slider. Seems like every time we get in this position, we think fastball slider, and he breaks out the changeup against us, and we hadn't seen it much uh, during the year. And uh, so he's a handful. I mean, he's a good challenge for our guys, and uh, he's pitched well against us, pitched well two years ago out here, and pitched well in Fort Worth last year. And so, um, you know, I know the guys are looking forward to it, and it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Struggles last year on pitching mound for you guys. A ton of walks issued to TCU. Is that more of a credit to their lineup or your guys just not battling the plate or for the plate? You're talking about pitching. Yeah. Um, a lot of those walks were on Sunday, if I remember right. And uh, I want to say is in a position where, um, you know, managing the game, you might put a take sign down. And then we, we struggled commanding the ball, and they probably just kept taking. And, uh, you know, that's credit to them and the way they ran the game. And, um, yeah, I, I want to say a good bit of them, though, were in the game three, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Did we play them at Oklahoma City? We did. Might have done it a little bit then, too. And so there's your answer. I mean, you know, if uh, – you know, that's always a risk-reward deal, especially when you start talking about a guy like, uh, you start talking about power arms like McMillan, Freeman, those type guys. Go to taking and you're 0-1, you're going to wish you didn't. And uh, you could say that about a bunch of our guys. And I guess, you know, they got some leverage counts and threw some walks. This is also a pretty balanced lineup for TCU. They don't have the, they don't have the, Luke and Baker, like they've had in the past, but it, you've got a bunch of guys hitting five and six home runs. Is that something you guys are work, uh, very conscious with with the pitchers that they've got to keep the ball down? You know, probably more than anything, just know that, uh, you know, Bill Moziello does a good job running their offense. Uh, very aggressive as far as on the bases, and uh, it does a good job with their hitters. And uh, got a lot of respect for, you know, how they play. And as far as the numbers go, um, you're always trying to execute pitches, no matter what the numbers are. Same rotation. Same. Coach, being in the, the Big 12 title mix, what have you said to the guys here with these three extremely meaningful games? Probably more than anything, just, you know, we, we try to get through finals. You know, we've gotten through that and uh, continue to work, continue the process to prepare yourself to get ready to play. And uh, it's a great opportunity for us, exciting time. Uh, not a whole lot has to be said. Quite honestly, there's some really good leaders in that locker room, and they're excited about playing. Um, go ahead. Also, how nice is it to have three night games here with, with TCU? Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. I mean, it's it's time of year we're watching college baseball in the evening, and Lubbock, Texas is uh, – I wouldn't mind coming up and sitting with you guys. I mean, it's – we've had some really good days, and – I think we got some good days forecasted, if I said that right, and uh, looking forward to seeing some people. You guys are obviously in the hunt, but you need a little bit of help. Is there any concern that you guys, you did, some of your guys might be doing a little scoreboard watching to see what's going on in the other side? I guess there's, I guess you could say there's a concern, but I think when the ball goes up and you start playing, uh, the one neat thing about our game is it brings your attention to what you need to be focusing on pretty quickly because the uh, game will find you in a hurry if you're not doing that. And uh, So we're going to go try to play the game the right way. Uh, you know, if somebody wants to look at that before or after a game, more power to them. And when the game starts, you know, play the game the right way. It's senior day for your lone senior. Thoughts on uh, Cam? Yeah, Cam's, Cam's been really special for us. He's had a really good year. Uh, I don't think he wants to get done playing until July, if you probably ask him. Um, but it's going to be neat to be able to, uh, you know, to honor, you know, his time here and how he's played and to recognize him. And uh, he's, a, he's a lot of fun, you know, to have on your team. Is this the smallest senior class you've ever had? 
Well, the funny thing is, see, I consider uh, Lanning a senior too. He's been here the same amount of time. Probably actually been here a year longer than Cam, because Cam spent a year in junior college. So Erickson's been here four years, uh, should be getting his degree also. So you kind of think of both of those guys. He's just eligibility-wise, he's a junior. Have you seen the guys relax a little bit now that they can just focus on baseball at the, now the finals are done? Well, they really just got done yesterday, so I hadn't seen all of them. But as those times come and guys are done, absolutely, absolutely, there's a relief, you know, that they're you know done with their schoolwork. You here? I mean, I know you guys are going to play a lot more baseball here, but being honored this weekend. Oh, this will be a special. I mean, from by myself, it'll be a little lonely out there, a little shorter than most years' senior nights, but it'll be fun. It's been a special three years here. Is it weird? I mean, you don't seem like a guy that loves being in the spotlight. Of the camera like that. I mean, it'll be weird being the only guy out there. Yeah, it'll definitely be weird. Um, I mean, like I said, it'll be real short too. But <laughs> it'll be it'll be a little weird being by myself out there. Got family coming in? Yeah, family coming in. Be good. Who's coming? My mom, my sister, my grandpa. Who's gonna cry? I don't know. <laughs> if anybody, my mom probably. Maybe my sister. I don't think my grandpa will. He not not on the field. <laughs> Hayward? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I've known Hayward my whole life, pretty much my whole life, but I'd be happy to see him up there, too. You got a fun story to share from behind the scenes about your time here today? Oh, man, there's so, there's so many. I could, I would have to prepare for that one, probably. <laughs> so many of them. What do you expect to see from uh, this TC pitching staff? Oh, they're gonna, they're, I think they're pretty old. Lodolo's obviously junior, going to be high pick, and then Charles King, I think. He's a junior guy too. They're gonna be, they're gonna come in and pitch. I mean, they're gonna come in and pitch. We have to have good at bats and put together good at plate appearances to win some games this weekend. Yeah, I mean, you guys have seen Lodolo several times, and you guys have seen great pitching all year long. But what what does he do specifically that's caused you guys some problems over the last few years? Oh, like Josh said, I think he like turns it up when he comes to Lubbock or when he sees us on the other side. He's obviously got great stuff, and he makes a lot of pitches when he's been here so far or since we faced him in the last three times we faced in the last two years. Is this weekend going to be a little different for you just in terms of senior senior day and all that stuff, or is it just another weekend for you? Uh, it's just another week. I mean, it might be a little different at the, at the beginning before the game starts on Saturday, but it's, we, I think if we get the business done, then we'll still have more home games coming up. What have you done leading up to this weekend? Because I know obviously you didn't have as many finals as everyone else, so what, what have you been able to do? Uh, we've just been... Uh, we've been off a lot, but uh, we just come up here and get our swings in on our own and just prepare like normal, but without the coaches and practicing as much as we have it. When you first got here, did you imagine you'd have a 60 RBI season? I knew I was capable of it. I just, uh, it just whether or not I got the job done or not. I guess what, what, what does it take to get 60, 60 RBIs? A lot of guys getting on in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> They've done that all year. I guess for you, I guess just to be able to do that, I guess what, what does that say about the guys in front of you? Then? They can they can really hit and they get on base and give me a chance to drive them in 